bride I've ever set my eyes on. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. But we are not yet through with my makeup. Uh, that's because your beauty is natural. You are so pretty and cute even without makeup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, beautiful lady. <laughs> so tell your makeup artist to be moderate, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I won't want a makeup that will not make me recognize my wife. Oh. <laughs> um, they already know that you and I love to dress modestly and moderately. They won't do otherwise. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, we have less than one hour. Oh. Eh? Um, no problem. I promise we won't get late to church. Um, what about you from your hand? Ah, <laughs> I'm set. Wow. In fact, all my friends are in the car waiting. We should be in the church in the next 10 minutes. Okay, okay. Um, the next time you are going to see my face is when the pastor says, now you may open the veil of the bride. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And the pastor will also say, <clears throat> now you may kiss the bride. Oh. <laughs> Brother! Sister, sister! <laughs> oh, Mike. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll meet in the church. A Christian home is the best. 
Our godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife, oh Love each other sincerely Glory be to God. Ah. Love each Thank other sincerely. For a glorious and yeah. successful wedding. God alone deserves to be praised. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, the wedding went so well. And this obviously exceeds our plans. Yes, yes. Thank God. Thank God. God. Thank God. I appreciate God. God. Oh. I appreciate God. I thank God for the sources. Now, before we begin every other thing, we need to praise God. <laughs> what other thing is that? Uh uh. The only journey to Jerusalem that we have been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Why not wait a little till tomorrow morning now? Ah, for our bodies to cool down. Maybe we have already started the journey. We've started the journey, okay? Yeah. When? How? I've not started anything, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That kiss you gave me in church, and mm. that long and deep kiss you gave me at the reception. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mere rehearsal. The real one, the real show, is now, now. Now, huh. <laughs> of course, I, I, I know that we are tired, but uh, maybe we will pray. Eh? We will pray, and I'm sure that God will give us a renewal of strength and energy. <laughs> we are not going to ask God for anything tonight. Tonight's prayer is purely for thanksgiving. Who told you that? Maybe I'm the one that will lead the prayers. Uh, I will pray according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Yes. Bishop Mike. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray straight. Ah, <laughs> our Father in heaven, we thank you for the glorious wedding that you have granted us. Thank you, Jesus. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Daddy, you know that Janet and I have kept ourselves so that our marriage bed will be undefiled. God, what are we still waiting for? What on heart are we still waiting for? Grant us strength and energy for tonight's assignment in Jesus' name. <laughs> what? We are praying. What we kind are praying. of prayer is that? We are, we are praying now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so you couldn't say amen. What kind of prayer is that? You, you must say amen. You must say amen. Say amen. Say amen to it. Is that, is that a prayer? Say amen. Come on, say amen. You must say amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. So I want to pray more. God, God, give us enough strength tonight in Jesus' <laughs> oh <my> name. God. <laughs> say amen. <laughs> it's been eight years, eight challenging years without a child. God, look down and have mercy on us. Take away this reproach. <sighs> you have blessed me with a loving and understanding husband. And he has really helped me to grow spiritually ever since we got married. We have been praying together. Trusting you that giving us our own child is not a difficult thing for you to do. Thank 
Because your word says you honor the word of your servants. We have been prayed for by the name of God. Shed. Husband and wife, oh. love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. love each other sincerely. For oh, you earn my joy, 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 the love of my life. Life, of my life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you earn my joy, 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 the love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. For oh, you earn my joy, 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 the love of my life. Love of my our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you earn my joy. Joy, 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 the love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. We are a happy family. For you earn my joy, 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 the love of my life. life of my I will miss you all. He's doing all his best to so make me happy. But there is a vacuum that only you, Lord, can feel. Please, Lord, open my womb. Let me conceive. I love my own child. <laughs> Mommy. Only God knows the number of times I've told you that nothing is wrong with my husband and her. We are both fit to have children. So, if nothing is wrong, 
Why have you not given birth to a child? God is preserving my womb for my Samuel. Just like he did for Hannah in the Bible. Mm. <laughs> so you are now Hannah in the Bible. Janet, I am your mother. And I can't sit down and be looking while you allow religion to blindfold you until you reach menopause. Do you realize the fact that you are the only one that has everything to lose if you don't give birth in this marriage? If you don't give birth to a child of your own? Yes, your husband has nothing to lose. He already has a child before marriage, a son for that matter. <laughs> Mommy, what happened to my husband was a mistake before he got born again. Mm. Even before we met at all, he's now a new creature. Mm. All things have passed away. Good. Old things passed away. Yes. Good. Janet. God is not as wicked as we portray him. Yes. He will always forgive us when we make mistakes. Thank God you just said it now. All things have passed away. But the fact that he has a child did not pass away. Janet, God is not as wicked as we portray him. He will always forgive us our mistakes. Thank God you said that old things have passed away for Mike. Mommy, <laughs> I don't understand what you are trying to say. <laughs> what I'm saying in essence is that God is not wicked. Mm -hmm. Yes, you too can make any mistake that will earn you a child of your own any mistake and we will tell god it was a mistake and he will forgive you at least you would have gotten a child of your own and the mistake will pass away and your child will remain yours just like it happened in the case of your husband that's all wait on god wait you are not looking nice at all. And you are not even telling me what the matter is. What have I done wrong? We are carriers of the Holy Ghost, which is the spirit of joy. You see, Satan is happy when children of God are sad. Or, or, or do you want me to kneel down for you before you tell me what the problem is? Blank. We need a child. I need a child of my own. God will do it soon. I want us to be strong in the Lord. Look at me. Look at my face, Jane. By the grace of God, you will carry our own children in Jesus' name. He may. <laughs> Mike, I want us to do another high VF. Hmm. Another high VF? Yes. We have done two that failed. We've heard of people that did it 10 times before they got it. What about the money? You know we are very rich now. 
and we have not even recovered from the last one we did. Okay, uh, can we wait a little bit more so that we can raise enough money? No, Mike, I am a woman. Time is going. We don't have to wait until I reach menopause. Okay, okay. Um, do you have any money somewhere? Do I have money somewhere? That means it is my personal problem, right? No, no, not at all. That's not what I meant. You wouldn't say a thing if you don't mean it. <sighs> it is clear that I have the stake here. I can reach menopause and never have a child. Since you already have one. Ah, what? Jane. Jane. Ah. Brother Mike. I have prayed about your proposal. And my answer is yes. Oh! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Janet. I'm happy. Thank you very much. Um, Sister Janet. Yes. One more thing. Okay. Um, there is no man without a past. Okay. Mine is not a good one. Before I gave my life to Jesus, when I was in my final year, in the secondary school, I impregnated a girl and she had a child for me. What about the child? Is with my mother. And his mother? Well, she got married a long time ago. And uh, she has even gotten three other children for her husband. Mm. Mm. <sighs> um, Sister mm. Janet, is my answer still a yes? Mm. Um, I have a question. Let's assume this story you just told me is the other way around. I mean, if I was the one who had a child before you came to propose to me and I open up to you this way, uh, what would be your reaction? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That will be my response. <laughs> Answer still be yes. <laughs> That's the exact scripture that is on my mind now. You have done well by not hiding it from me. The answer is still yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Sister Janet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Praise God. Praise God, praise the Lord. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh.
Love each other sincerely. For you are my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. We are a happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. For you earn my joy. Joy, 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 the love of my life. Love of my Our life. home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you earn my joy. Joy, 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 the love of my life. life. Our home is built on God's word. We are a happy family. For you earn my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Oh, my God. My sister was just too emotional. You know, when we think too much on the matter, it affects the way we behave as women. Ma, I don't expect Jane to utter such a statement. I've spoken with her. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you had apologized, this wouldn't have gotten to the pastor in the first place. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, your wife told me that uh, you refused to eat the food she prepared. And you went to buy bread and grandma. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Love of my Our life. home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. For you earn my joy. Joy, 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 the love of my life. Love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you earn my joy. Joy, 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 the love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. (laughs) (laughs) 
uh, uh, I know you were waiting for her to apologize first before you eat her food. And she was also trying to prove that she has a point. You see, matters like this, if not properly addressed, has the power to destroy marriage. Uh, we are seeing cases in which the husband will be waiting for the wife to apologize first. And the wife, on the other hand, will be proven stubborn. You see, the main lesson here for husband and wife is this. To be sensitive and know when Satan is coming up with a matter that is capable of cracking the wall of marriage. It is not a time to be claiming that you are right or wrong. Always join hands together and fight all attempt from Satan. Then after all, you can sit down and settle within yourselves. Now let me tell you, Sometimes, in a Christian marriage, it may be required that somebody who is right may be the one to apologize to the one that is wrong. And then you now come back and settle the matter later. Thank you, sir. Thank God. We thank God. Now to the matter that caused the misunderstanding. Uh, my wife and I have come to remind you that the God who remembered Sarah has not forgotten you. Amen. The mighty one who gave Samuel to Hannah and Helkanah still has you in mind. Amen. The faithful God who gave John to Elizabeth and Zachariah will do your hope. Amen. Please, don't give up on God. Let us pray. Thank you, sir. Father, thank you for this hope. Thank you, Lord. Wait on me. Ask you some questions. Mm. What? I remember that when I was young, you used to teach me some Bible verses. Some of those Bible verses I still remember till now. Scriptures like, Thou shalt not have any other God beside me. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Ah, ma. What has happened to those scriptures you used to teach me during money devotion? Mm, I know where you are going. You are surprised that your Christian mother is now trying to mislead you to go against God because you are looking for a child? Hmm. Whoa. A minimum BS in a Bible. I give back to you. And I give you a Christian name, Janet Moreni Keji Abake. So I know the in and out of this religion. Janet, those who introduced born again into our religion are the ones that are complicating the matter. Oh. Ma. One again has been in the Bible from the time of our Lord Jesus Christ and the apostles. John chapter 3, verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And you see, our own pastors did not tell us that. Look, Janet, listen to me. 
God made good and evil. He made black and white. If we use the herbalist to get what we want in life, there is nothing bad in it. Is it not God that gave them the power to do what they are doing? Eh? Hmm. Well, I've heard you. But, mommy, I want to beg you of something. Please, leave my marriage alone for me and my husband. Eh? We trust God to give us our own children in his own time. Oh. So we don't need any help from any man. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go and get your food store from the car. Eh? Which food stuff? For who? Hey, 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 Wait on his promises, he will never change. Brother Mike, Sister Janet, the reason I announced that both of you should see me after service is because as the choir was ministering, the Lord gave me a message for both of you. Their song ministration today uh, is a message on encouragement to do God's work despite the challenges we face. I'm sure you, you heard the song. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I want to encourage you. Don't let challenges take away your ministry. Is that okay? Both of you are in the evangelism unit of the church. I want you to be more committed. Sir, bearing it in mind that you are not doing it for any man but unto God. And he will surely reward you. Mm -hmm. uh, you have been waiting for the fruit of the womb for about eight years now. Am I right? Yes, sir. Please, I want to encourage you. Do what waiters do. Sir, learn from Abraham and Sarah in Genesis chapter 18. Learn from Ruth in Ruth chapter 2, even though Ruth was not looking for a child. But she got her husband through service. So while you are waiting on God for the fruit of the womb, Please do what with us do. So, while you are waiting, sir. Wait us. Wait us. Wait us. Do what wait us do. Serve the Lord. Wait us. Wait us. Hello, Sister Grace. Sister Janet, how are you, ma? Ha, I'm fine. <laughs> we thank God. And how is your husband? Uh, we thank God. And how is your husband and the children? I'm doing well, ma. What is wrong with these children? Can't you see I'm on call? I'm sorry, ma. Go to your room. Go, 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 go. Sister Jeanette, I'm sorry. Please carry on, ma. <laughs> uh, my regards to the children. I will, ma. I call to her see if you can join me for a personal evangelism on Saturday. Is Saturday church evangelism day? Ah, no. It's a personal arrangement. Uh, I just have this urge to have a personal evangelism. Ma, I would have loved to, but for my children, Though my husband will be at home on Saturday, but he doesn't even like me to keep the children with him. 
you will notice I've not been attending church evangelism outreach recently. Taking care of the children is a serious work. In fact, it's a ministry on its own. Um, okay, no problem. I hope you understand me. Ah, yes, I do. I understand. In fact, Pastor Mrs. also called some minutes ago that she would like me to get some things in the market with the church driver tomorrow afternoon in preparation for the children's anniversary coming up on Sunday. But I had to beg her to please get another person because there is nowhere to keep my children. Um, okay, that's okay, Sister Grace. Thanks so much for your understanding, ma. All right, bye. Hmm. Sister Grace was one time evangelism leader in the church. She was so committed to mission work. Now, her children does not allow her to have time for evangelism anymore. Or is it because I am not having a child? That is why I still have time. Sister Grace was my chief bridesmaid. She got married two years after our marriage. Hello, mommy. Hello, Sister Janet. How are you and the family? We thank God, Ma. We are fine. Thank God. There is an assignment I want to give you in preparation for the children's anniversary on Sunday. Okay. I want you to join me. We want to go and get some things for the church tomorrow afternoon. I've already informed a sister in the church before now, but she said she can't make it. I wouldn't know if you would be available to go. Hello, Sister Janet. Are you hearing me? Uh, yes, ma. Um, I heard you, ma. Uh, sorry, ma. Can you give me uh, just a few time to call you back? Okay. There's no problem. Okay, ma. Uh, I'll call you later, ma. Thank you. Sister Grace refused to follow the pastor's wife because she has children to cater for. Was that not the reason why pastor's wife thought of someone like me who is childless and should be ready to go anywhere at any time? How am I sure that God actually wants me to do the assignment? Or mommy just called me because other women are busy taking care of their children. I'll be available, ma. Uh, and please, ma, don't hesitate to call me. If there's any other assignment I need to do towards the preparation for children anniversary. Uh, I'm presently on a week leave at my place of work. Oh, thank you, my sister. The Lord will surely reward our labors of love in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow, ma. Thank you. Wait us. Wait us. Wait us, do what wait us do, serve the Lord. Hello, my king. Hello, Jin Jin. Please, where are you now? On my way home, of course. Okay, please, can you help me branch at the church office to get some tracts? I feel like to go on a personal evangelism this Saturday. Oh, okay, okay. Um, who is following you for the evangelism? I'll be going alone, since you'll be at the gym. Ah. <laughs> I'll cancel my session uh, at the gym center for Saturday evening. I'll follow you for evangelism. Thank you, sir. Um, you know what? I am on my way to the kitchen. My king's table needs to be ready before his arrival. 
changing. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you, darling. Satan, you have lost again. I reject that evil thought. I have made my decision to do what the waiters do. I will continue to serve my God. Waiters. 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 That young boy called Michael will never be able to impregnate your daughter. Because he is under his bed. The young lady he impregnated many years ago was a witch. Ah. And because he refused to marry her, that lady placed him under a curse. Ah. Hey. Baba, what is the way out now? Bring the husband of your daughter here. And I will give him a chance to avert the curse. The boy is so stubborn. He won't follow me here, Baba. Mm -hmm. eh. Then, I will prepare the charm and give it to you. Then you will then take it to him. Once he takes the charm with good pap, early in the morning, for three consecutive days, mm -hmm. then he will be free. And your daughter too will conceive. Is, is that the only way out? Yes. Uh, there is another way. Okay. Your daughter will have to look for another man to impregnate her. you for our son's birthday. Olamide is 15 and I feel we should celebrate it for him. So I told my husband a few days ago that we should tell grandma that we'll be coming to take Olamide for the birthday and he'll also be spending some days with us before he returns back to grandma. Oh, you know that. But mommy, why didn't you show happiness and rejoice with us when you came in and saw what was happening? Hey? I don't like the way you fold your face at all. People will notice that you are not happy. Jeanette, ah. who did this to you? Eh? You are celebrating birthday for another woman's child. No, 
my husband's child. Let me ask you a question, mommy. What if I was the one who had a child before marriage and I didn't get to marry the man who impregnated me? Won't you be happy if my husband accepts the child as his own? Go and ask your late father that stupid question. Listen, Janet, I'm not just asking strangely. I have my facts. Your husband is older as well. The lady she impregnated and refused to marry has placed a cause on him. And look at he can never in his life father a child again. Mommy, are you ready to go inside and continue the celebration with us? Or I should just leave you here? What? Mommy, what, what is the meaning of this? Mommy, please now, let's go inside. Mommy. Wait on God. Wait on God. Wait on His promises. He will never Ma, I want to ask you a question. Is it possible for a child of God to be under His spell? As in, can a Christian be cursed? Why did you ask? I just need clarity, ma. <laughs> I hope you are not thinking either you or your husband is under his spell. That is why you have not given birth to children. Well, to answer your question, a genuine child of God should not be under his spell. Well, Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. He made the cause for us. As it is written, curse is everyone that is hung on a tree. Hmm. A child of God who is walking daily in his precepts cannot be cursed. My dear sister, however, if anyone is under a case before he gets born again, there is a need for that person to be delivered from the curse. This is one of the things we teach in our new converts class in church. More so, Satan can attack a child of God. But Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 makes us to understand that. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And verse 13 says, we should put on the whole armor of God mm -hmm. to be able to stand against the enemy. My sister, each time a child of God confronts the devil. He or she fights with the mindset that God had already given us the victory. Mm. Because the enemy we are actually fighting is defeated already. And God is glorified. Mm. My sister, we know by the Spirit of God when the enemy is at work. Mm. And we also know when God is at work and is asking us for patience and endurance. Hmm. My sister, you and your husband are not under a curse. The Lord has shown me, not once, not twice, I saw you and your husband carrying your baby. Hmm. See, the vision is for an appointed time. My sister, wait for it. It will surely come. Amen. The grace you need at this waiting time 
God will supply in abundance in Jesus' name. Wait on God. Wait on God. Wait on His promises. He will never change. Help me sing. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're coming out again. I won't allow you. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> um, okay. Seven. I told you. Wow. <laughs> Can you see that again? I told you. Okay. my king thank you my friend <laughs> how was the office today the office was fine <sighs> thank god hey hola me day come and take it to me ah, I, I hope you guys are <laughs> not i think you guys are up to something ah, hola me day tell daddy what you just told me ah. tell him now I hope he's not trying to bribe you to stay here. Maybe he doesn't want to go back to grandma. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Should I help you to tell you? Um, Olamide said, unlike mommy, daddy don't buy things when coming back home. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry. Daddy will change soon. <laughs> <laughs> Take it inside. Uh, ah. Well, I'm very happy at the way both of you get along these days. <laughs> Thank you for accepting him. Um, I've got a good news for you. Really? Wow. Please tell me first. And don't uh, tell me to get so. Okay. Darling. Yes. <clears throat> I won a contract today. Wow. Wow. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm expected to make the supply in the next three weeks. Wow. I will make a substantial amount of profit from this. Wow. So I believe that by the grace of God, I will have enough money for another high year. Thank you so much, dear. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank God. Ah. This will be the third time. I pray it works. By the grace of God, it will work. Amen. You see, three is a significant figure. We should have faith. I believe. Papa, Janet is my only child, and I have been thinking of how to help her. Her situation has taken away my sleep, and I have vowed to see my grandchild by all means before I die. I need your help, Papa. Please help me. I already told you that if your son in law refuses to use the charm I prepare for him, he would never be able to impregnate any woman on us. Ha! <laughs> you see, the only alternative for you is that your daughter should look around and get a man who would be able to impregnate her. Hey, 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 Baba. 
Papa. Uh, I have an idea. And I I believe it will work. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm all less. Uh, you see? <laughs> You are welcome. Ah. Ah. You mean your wife got all this for Lamide? Yes, ma'am. In fact, you even said that the Lamide will not be spending its next holiday with you. Eh? She's so much in love with him. <laughs> hmm. Allow me to get your things inside. You're welcome. Oh, exactly like his father. <laughs> Mike, your wife is so nice. Oh. I pray God will bless her. And give her our own children too. Amen. Amen. Hey. Mike. What? Immediately you called me yesterday that you <sighs> and Ola Mide will be coming today. Not quite 10 15 minutes after, a prophet came to me to deliver a message that God sent to me. Okay. <laughs> I am Prophet Jacob from the Mountain of Solution. God specifically told me to locate you. One of your sons named Michael is looking for a child. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The wife has been looking for children since they got married. No. Mm. God has sent me to bring an end to barrenness in oh. their lives. Oh, oh, cool. Ah. Take a look at this. Are you a prophet or herbalist? I am a prophet of the Most High. <laughs> you are surprised at what you are seeing? Oh. <laughs> Don't you know that everything that you see here on the planet Earth were created by God Almighty? Mm -hmm. Besides, this God contains the broken clay from Cana of Galilee, mm -hmm. mixed with the sand from water of Jericho and water from the miracle spring of Elisha. All the items were imported from the Holy Land of Israel. Take and give it to your son. Ah, thank you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, promise. Tell him to take it with cold power every morning right. and let him put it inside his bathing water for three days. He must use it within the next 14 days. Okay. If not, it will expire. He will use it. He will use it. Uh, thank you very much. Wait, let me get you something. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> Yama, how, how much did you collect from you? Uh, I gave him money, but he refused to collect it from me. Uh, Mike, don't joke with this man. He's a genuine man of God. <coughs> Mama, 
Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, no genuine man of God would do that. I, I don't take it. I don't take it at all. You have come again. Mike, you have come again, Abby. Won't you have pity on this innocent lady in your house? A very nice woman. See the way she accepted your son. Hmm? Mike, won't you be happy that she has her own children too? Mama, of course I'll be happy if she has her own children. And by the grace of God, she will. Amen. But we don't need to take charm from any fake prophet before God answers our prayer. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mama, ah, what happened? <laughs> ah, why are you crying? <sighs> anyway, Mama, I don't want to travel in the night. This is your monthly allowance. I don't need your money. Take your money. I don't need it. You want people to be calling me a witch? That I am responsible for my daughter-in-law by elders. God sent a prophet to me from nowhere. He said it's a fake prophet. Go, go, go with your money. Go. I don't need your money. Go, go with your money. Oh. I think I should just pretend. Bring it. I will use it. Yeah. Come on, bring it. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, I will meet you in the office before you close. All right, thank you very much, sir. Take. I pray God will answer our prayer. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, my son. God, thank you. All right, my mom. Thank you. It's all right, thank you. I'll call you when I get you. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Greet my wife for me. Oh. It's all right. Bye bye. Safe journey. Gently. Oh. Hello, Jen Jen. Jen Jen. I just want to inform you that. I have entered town, but I quickly want to see Mr. Clements in his office. Uh, he called me earlier to see him concerning the contract. As soon as I'm done seeing him, I'll be coming home, okay? Take care of yourself. I love you. What happened? I didn't remember to throw this thing away. Oh, oh, this. It was my mom who said a prophet came to her and um, that the prophet said a lot of things. Hey, uh, wait, wait, wait. Your mom gave you a chance. And you brought it into the house. I thought my husband is a Christian. No, I didn't. Uh, what is no? Mike, what do you mean no? You went to your mother, she gave you a charm, 
and you brought it into the house. And here you are giving excuses. Mike, do you know how much pressure I get from my mother to compromise my faith in God because we are looking for children? If I could resist the temptation despite our pressure, and you are here, you want me to believe you. Mike, your words are not making sense at all. Jen, Jen, Jen. I said it's not what you think. You didn't even allow me to explain what happened before you started shouting. What's wrong with you? It is you that something is wrong with me. The evangelism team member who sees nothing wrong in using a child. Stop it! Stop it! Come on! Hey! Hey! The time you brought her started working. This is not my husband. Ah, this is not my husband. Hey! This is not my husband. Hey! This is not my husband. Hey. Hello, Ma. Are you at home? Okay. I cannot sleep with my husband in this house tonight. It could be dangerous. I'm coming. <laughs> That's what? Ah! They said your husband's mother is a witch. Oh, Bolo Bateni. Eh, Hakini. Is it not clear now? Is it not clear now that she's sending uh, uh, your husband to bring Chami to the house? Eh? Hey, Elada I thought you said it was the lady who got pregnant for my husband that put a spell on him. Eh. How come you are saying it's the mother? Kini Wadamo. You don't have any idea about your husband's uh, family. Kino Ah. Ah. Hey. I can't just sleep in that house tonight. It is better. Hey, Olo Maje Shori Buruku. You won't sleep in that house, oh. Because that witch woman is wicked. Who knows? Whether the next time she will send to your house will be the one that to donate your life as a sacrifice. Mommy, eh? How will you say that? Ah. Hmm. So that you can also follow me to where you can be fortified against any evil power. Abi, you still want to rely on your pastor's prayers for a complicated matter like this? Eh? No answer. Oromi Olesi, Abi? Eh? Shio. Hmm. <laughs> Abel. Hello, hello. Good evening, ma. Um, please, is my wife with you? Tomorrow morning, 
No, I can't allow my wife to stay there till tomorrow. I'm coming there right away. She's not with you again. At this time, what could she have done? Janet, Ma, your husband called me that he's on his way here. Ha! Huh. Thank God. Ah, I couldn't sleep all through the night. My mind was just with him. Are you alright? Mommy, I'm alright. I just want to see my husband. Hey, who says you will not see your husband? Look, you don't present yourself so cheap for a man. Let him feel the pains for his errors. At least a little bit. Ah, do you even know if he has returned the charm? Besides, do you know if he's coming to talk to you with another charm given to him by his witch mother? Eh? So I won't see my husband. I didn't say you won't see your husband. What I'm saying is not now. Good morning, ma. Ah, good morning, my son. How are you? I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. Ah. I'm not fine, ma. I've not seen my wife since yesterday. Oh. Ah. Actually, she told me that you you both had a misunderstanding yesterday. Mama, is my wife with you? No. No. You, you, can, you can go inside and check if you think I'm lying. But, but, but you see, um, I know where she is. Okay. She told me that she doesn't want to see you now. But you know I am her mother. I will talk to her. And by the time I talk with her, I know she will have a change of mind. So, give me till um, later in the evening. I'll get back to you. Bele? Okay. All right. You're welcome.
Deceiving yourself with religion. Look, everybody has a way of backing up their religion with something like this when things are tough. Okay, is your husband not a Christian? How come he went to his mother for spiritual powers? Mommy, I'm not going to any Baba's place. My God is a jealous God. I cannot be calling God for help and still go to another uh, to, to seek help from a man. <laughs> Janet. Janet. All right. If you insist, I will talk to Baba to come and attend to you at home. Um, only though I'm not sure if Baba does home service. But I will beg him. I will plead with him. Mommy, if you refuse to stop this idea of forcing me to bow to another god, I will leave your house and you will never set your eyes on me again. Uh, eh? I said I'm not interested. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not sorry. 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 Side against me. Ah. My wife is not even ready to see me. The worst has happened. The supplier I have put my mind at ah. to the point that I even promised Janet that we'll do high VF once I get this money. The contract just slipped off my hands just because. I refused to give bribe. Oh my God. Ah, what will I do now? What? What should I do? Brother Mike, I noticed that uh, your wife was not in church. Did she travel? No, oh, sir. Uh, I hope all is well with her. Brother Mike, sir, what happened? Please talk to me. It's a long story. Cook it. Cook it for us. What she did. She will be whatever you tell her. In fact, she will even follow you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. I don't mention. Thank you.
Good afternoon, Grandma. Grandma, good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Sir, this is my mother in law. God bless you, Ma. We are so glad to see you, Ma. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mama, uh, meet our pastor and his wife. Ah, man of God. Thank you. You're welcome. Sir. God bless you, Ma. Thank you. We are so happy to see you, Ma. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Thank you. Uh, Mike, have you seen your wife? No, no. We, we, we are just coming. We have not entered the house. Which house? Your wife left my house this morning. I'm asking if you have seen her and you feel you should come and thank me. Uh, Brother Mike, I, sir. have you tried her number? Yes, sir. But but our number has been switched off since yesterday. Uh, are you coming from your house? No, um, we are coming from the church. Uh, she should be in the house by now. Mm. Mm. Pastor, please, um, can you um, follow me to the house now? Um, there's no problem. Let's go. Okay. Well. Bye-bye. Thank, yes, Thank you. All right, ma. Thank you, ma. The Holy Spirit is telling me that this woman is telling us. I sense as much. Let's go. Very well. It, it, it. Mm. No, my gender. Hey, is your phone switched off? I deliberately switched it off. Today is Sunday. People will have been calling me because they didn't see me in church. At least the salt is moderate, mm -hmm. Testing your mommy's food again. <laughs> Finish the whole of the vegetable. It still remain. Finish it. Eat it well. To be emotional, see? Ah. There is still more vegetable, so eat it very well. Enjoy yourself. Uh -huh, that's good. I can see that you enjoyed the food. Yes. Mm. 
Exactement. Mm -hmm. So you now relax well. I'll go and enjoy your sleep again. What is it? I'm feeling dizzy. Dizzy. Sorry. <coughs> ah, head. ah! What is it? My head. Head again. Okay. How, how are you feeling? Ah. I'm not what? Hmm? My head. Hey, what's happening to your head? <laughs> My head. Hmm? Ah! Kenny! Mommy! My head? Ah! What is it? Your, your stomach. What? What? How are you? Ah, what is it now? Stomach. Yes, stomach. Hey. What is that? Hey. Hey. Your stomach. Hey. 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 my husband okay? and this is my pastor well your wife took a substance that is ample for her body so by the time they rushed her hair it was getting too late so what she took had affected her pregnancy ah pregnancy yes doctor you mean his wife was pregnant yes I thought you said you are husband. Yes, sir. Then how come you don't know that your wife was two months pregnant? Well, the result of the scan we did showed that your wife has missed abortion. Eh? Oh. Brother Mike. Sir. When did you go to your mother before the misunderstanding started? Four days ago, sir. You went to your mother four days ago. And your wife was two months pregnant. Oh, you. Yeah. 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 Just calm down. Ah. Calm down. Just, ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Calm down. Ah. Ah. Calm down, please. Ah. 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 Hey, Mama. Hey. What did you give her before the complication? I didn't give her anything. Nothing. I only cooked vegetables and thermometer for her. That was what she was eating when the thing started. Ah, it's what you want. What you want? Mama, are you sure? No, nothing. Me, fooling, cake. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, ah. Brother Mike, sir. Let us go and see your wife. I am you. The vegetable we only make her to obey my instruction. Hey, how come? How come? See, it's a vegetable. I'm going to get my No. Baba must tell me. He must tell me what he gave me to give my daughter. He must tell me. Oh, he must tell me. Baba must tell me. Put 
your trust in me. Wait on his promises, he will never fail. forgive me. I I know I went too far. And you see, the poisonous vegetable I made for Janet, it was not meant to harm her. I'm sorry. I was blindfolded, so I was deceived. I'm indeed very sorry. <laughs> um, I also have a confession to make. Janet, your husband's mother is not a witch. Mm. Mm. I was the one that arranged for the fake pastor who went to her to deceive her. Are you sure you can do it? <laughs> Very well, ma. Very well. Uh, is it not for me to act like a prophet? No. Not just acting like a prophet, oh. You will act like a real prophet <laughs> that God sent you to her to deliver her children from barrenness. Um, take. The name of her son and his wife are there. The name of the woman and her address is also there. Um, it's just a journey of one and a half hour. You can do go call. Okay, okay, ma. Take. It's just transport fair now. When you come back. <laughs> okay, thank you, ma. All right. Thank you. Good job, Bo. Ah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Hey! Hey! Hey, Sister Janet, it is well. It is well, bro, Mike. Hmm? Mama? Can you see now that despite all that Satan used you to do in the lives of your children, still, God has mercy on you. If not, the accident that happened will have claimed your life. 
and that will have been more terrible mm. if you have died without giving your life to Jesus. Now, Mama, I have a question to ask you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus now? What else am I waiting for? Yes, I am ready. Praise God. Hey, brethren, please let us pray for Mama. Thank you, ready. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm ready. Hey, Mama, I want you to please say this confession after me. Say, My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I realize that I am a sinner. I realize that I am a sinner. And that I cannot save myself. And that I cannot save myself. I come to you today. I come to you today. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. Oh. My pregnancy would have been close to five months by now. I don't see it that way. How do you mean? If not for God's mercy, my wife would have been dead for about three months now. Hmm. That's deep. When there is life, there is hope. Thank you, Jesus. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do, sir. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do, do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do, sir. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord with all your with all heart. heart. Serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do, sir. Serve the Lord. the Lord with all your heart. Serve the Lord. the Lord with all your strength and soul. Oh, do what waiters do. Do what waiters do, sir. Serve the Lord. Do what with all your strength and mind, soft the Lord with all your heart. Soft the Lord. Give me this, Sofuwa. You know we Joanne Orike ties the carry the logo. We just say about our shape. Can't go on because give me this, Sofuwa. Ni pe. Um, give me this, so. You know, um, John Orike ties the carry the logo. We only need to read alone for our life to be good. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who fear more be be reconciled for me that whosoever believeth in him should not perish when can it but have everlasting life she won't call it near ye and never do what waiters do sir do what waiters do sir Serve the Lord with all your heart. Serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do, sir. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord with all your, with all your heart. heart. Serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do. Soft the Lord with all your heart. Soft the Lord with all your strength and soul. Oh, do what waiters do. Soft the Lord with all your strength and mind. Soft the Lord with all your heart. Soft the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do. Sir, serve the Lord with all your heart. Serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do, 
serve, serve the Lord with all your with heart, all your heart the Lord with all your, your strength, strength and soul. Do what waiters do, do what waiters do, serve the Lord, serve the Lord with all your heart, serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Oh, do what waiters do. Baby, I feel weak. Ah. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, like, I'm like, feeling dizzy. Oh my god, oh my god. Come and sit here, come and sit here. Sit, okay. sit. Like everywhere is turning or what? Yes. Sit. Maybe you should wait here um, for me to go and bring our car. Please, please. This sun is too bright. Oh, will you enter this place or, or you stay? Okay, okay. okay, okay. Take care of yourself. I'll soon be back. Ensure that your phone is on. Eh? Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do, sir. Soft the Lord with all your heart. Soft the Lord with all your strength and soul. Do what waiters do. Do what waiters do, sir. Do what waiters do. Serve the Lord with all your with all heart. heart. Serve the Lord with all your strength and soul. Congratulations. Your wife is six weeks pregnant. Have it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Thank you, Jesus! Wow! Wow! Thank you, Jesus! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Congratulations! Yes, 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 yes! Wait on God! Wait on God! Wait on his promises, he will never change. Help the sick man. Wait on God. Wait on me. Wait on God. Wait on me. Wait on his promises, he will never change. Oh, wait on God. Put your trust in him. Wait on his promises, he will never fail. Wait on God, wait on him, wait on God. Put your trust in him, wait on his promises, his promises. he will he never, will never fail. fail. Sir, we just want to seek your permission, sir, that we do the christening of our babies in the church. That's not a problem. Very good. <laughs> it's, it goes beyond that, sir. Okay? Um, my wife and I wish that the service is not just a naming service. Mm. Um, we want to make it a testimony and praise service. Mm. Um, honestly, sir, we have gone through a lot. Mm. And God has proven to us that the best thing to do is to wait. Mm. Mm. And to do what the waiters do. To save. Mm. I see. Ah. Mama Beji. Ma, please come and breastfeed my children. Yes, mommy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah. Wow. Hmm. 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 Mm. Wait on God, wait on God, wait on His promises, He will never change. Help the sick man. Wait on God, wait on me, wait on God. Wait on what is it, sir? Did you hear what my wife just called your wife? Uh, yes, yes, she said, on my beach. Hmm. The Holy Spirit just gave me a prayer point from what my wife said. 
God. Prior to this time, no one ever called your wife, Mama a bitch, True. until God showed up. Yes, yes. I am praying for someone out there who is trusting God for a name-changing miracle that God will show up. Amen. Those who have termed you barren, who have called you forsaken, who have called your land desolate, with, with their own same mouth, call you my bitch. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Meanwhile, while you are waiting, do what waiters do. Said the Lord with all your might. Hallelujah. We thank God for bringing us to the end of another powerful message. And I am praying for everyone trusting God for one miracle or the other. You have waited for a long time. This is your time. This is your season. In the name of Jesus Christ. God that answered that couple, Mike and Janet, in that movie, the same God will answer you in the name of Jesus. Please, if you believe that God has answered your prayer, go to the comment section and type Amen. And that will happen. God has come and he has visited you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Wait on God. Wait on God. Wait on his promises, he will never change. Help the sick man. Wait on God. Wait on me. Wait on God. Wait on me. Wait on his promises, he will never change. Oh, wait on God. Put your trust in him. Wait on his promises, he will never fail. Wait on God, wait on him, wait on God. Put your trust in him, wait on his promises, his promises. he will never fail. Wait on God.